Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. And thank you for joining me today. Hello there to all of you joining in. Yes, so um, welcome to From Mistakes to Mastery. Thank you for being here. Uh, because, you know, when you're here, it gives me more motivation to create more content and to share more divine wisdom and um, knowledge. And, you know, wisdom is knowledge applied. So together, let us apply the knowledge and turn them into wisdom. So thank you for being here again, knowing that I have an audience. <laughs> Uh, it gives me more motivation, of course, to really show up for my people. So today, <laughs> um, I was talking to Erica. So she's my goddess sister and student and also member of Empowered Women's Club. And I decided to talk about resistance. So resistance to change, right? Resistance to change vis-a-vis -vis allowing. So three weeks ago, I shared all about mistake number one, not going all the way in, not giving my all, not fully trusting, being fickle-minded, having hesitation, and being wishy-washy with my decisions and allowing fears in society's beliefs to control me. Two weeks ago, I shared about mistake number two, chasing for something outside of myself to be happy and to feel really whole and complete. Last week, I talked about my big, big mistake of being a slave to my emotions and how wrong is that? How, how now I am a slave to my mission and calling and sole purpose. So if you haven't watched those videos yet, please do so. All the videos are saved here on our private Facebook group. And, you know, you may also ask me questions with these um, live webinars that I'm doing. Again, I'm doing this weekly. <laughs> when I decided to do this, I have no content. I'm just like, I'm going with the flow. I know that I will be guided what to share for the day. I'm channeling messages. What is the best um, uh, message to share to you guys? And today, it's about resistance to changes. And it's also about embracing all the positive changes in our lives to really shift and transform our lives. So again, you may ask me questions if you want, or just share in the chat box or to those watching this on replay in the comment section. Just share anything that lights up within you, any light bulb moment, any um, reflection that you want to be more um, solidified. If you want to solidify an intention, a reflection, so go ahead and try it as I speak, or just share anything that maybe you feel can benefit the others as well. All right, so hello there to all watching. Hello, hello, hello. So resistance, that's the topic. Why do we resist? <laughs> Why do we resist as human beings? We resist because we want to stay stuck in our comfort zone. We resist because we don't want to change. We resist because we're operating in fear. We resist because we don't believe that we are physical beings in a spiritual body, that we are spiritual beings rather um, in spiritual human, in a, we're spiritual beings in a human existence, right? We we don't believe that we are primarily spirit. That's why we resist. So we resist because we want everything to be perfect before we start diving into something. 
even if you know that that something is really for you, that that something is calling out to your soul, we resist because we are afraid. What if things don't work out for me? What if I fail? What if I succeed? What if uh, my family wouldn't approve of my decision? What if I cannot do it? What if I'm not worthy? So you resist because you don't want to release your self-limiting beliefs. Because where you are is familiar and that place is the place that is most comfortable for you and you don't want to feel uncomfortable and it's normal um it's okay we have to accept that and you think you are protecting yourself out of survival but in truth and in fact you are not allowing yourself to experience more and more and much better possibilities and we have to remember that it's okay to make a mistake and to fail. We resist growth pains because it is uncomfortable for us. And it is unfamiliar. And ultimately, we resist because we do not believe that anything is possible. That's the ultimate reason why we resist. We don't believe that whenever... Whenever there's a change, it's guiding you to something better. And that whatever happens, all is well. <laughs> so I really can resonate to all the things that I'm saying. Um, and I myself have or had my fair share of all this. I didn't want to let go of the familiar, of the known. But what if? The unknown is so much more beautiful than the known. What if what is coming is so much better than what you could have ever imagined? What if we can view change as a very, very beautiful thing? So just keep on entertaining this idea. Let's play with that idea. And when we do accept this, you'll realize that, wow, there's so many more other possibilities. So what else is possible? We ask this question all the time in Access Consciousness. So let's explore that. And again, it's all a matter of mindset reprogramming and paradigm shifting. And we have to release the past to make room for all the wonderful things and people and events and memories and situations that are coming. And sometimes also we base our decisions on fear of lack. Actually, this happens most of the time, especially for Filipinos. But what if the universe will always support you? If it is for your highest good, of course the universe will support you. Duh, of course. <laughs> that if you do love yourself, the universe will love you back. What if you believe that? That you are and will always be provided for, no matter what, if it is meant for you. If the thing you're seeking for is really for you, why wouldn't the universe support you? If it is indeed for your highest good, for sure, it is yours. It is already yours. It is already done. And we have to believe this. So to manifest our highest vision, our fullest potential, we have to recalibrate and keep on disconnecting to old paradigms for the new you to emerge. We have to keep on working on ourselves and do the daily cosmic ordering. Sounds scientific, but it just means scripting, ordering, asking for what you want in your life, daily journaling. You can do that with journaling or 
journal therapy or creative visualization. And we have to keep on disconnecting to old paradigms for the new you to emerge. And we have to remember that everything you want, okay, if you are not experiencing that right now, everything you want is in your stretch zone. And this is also being taught to us in yoga. That's why we keep on stretching and stretching. You know, everything you want is in your stretch zone. Let us not be afraid. And I shared this before. Allow things to be messy. When I committed to this weekly webinar, I, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so feel the fear and do it anyway. And you can always adjust the how. You can always course correct. And I've been doing this over and over again. And it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to be uncomfortable. We grow in the discomfort. Again, in yoga, we believe in stretching to expand your capacity physically first. Expand your physical capacity. And that is also how life works. We build our spiritual muscle. When we go beyond our upper limits, break our upper limits, break our barriers so we can transcend our comfort zones and grow and evolve to greater heights. There is no other way. So in what ways was I resisting? Let me just share so that it will be more like personal. Oh, thank you. Faye said, love that stretch zone. Yes, stretch zone. <laughs> thank you also to Riri and Annie. Hello. And one more person who is watching, cannot see the name, but yes. Hello there. Just keep on sharing in the chat box, in the comments, anything that lights up, anything that you want to solidify, anything that you want to order to the universe, any intention that you want to set right now. You know, again, um, setting intentions, that's the first step in creating a reality. And when we write it, when we think it, we write it, we feel it, it will manifest in a reality. Oh, Kritika! <laughs> there you are. Hello, my dear. So, <laughs> so in what ways was I resisting? First, in relationships. So I stayed in really abusive and toxic and unhealthy relationships that are filled with drama and egoistic desires and like um, just pleasure, like, it's not even like spiritual, just really bodily pleasures, pleasures of the flesh and not even like, it's not even fulfilling for my soul. So they're just beyond normal. If I tell you all the stories, all the abuse I've been through, you wouldn't believe it. Like all the financial, emotional, verbal, physical abuse while rearing a really, a, a racing a, a young kid. So I stayed in those relationships, even though I know that I have to leave already. I was resisting again to change because society said that separation, divorce, annulment is wrong and evil. The Bible says, I thought that the Bible says it's wrong. I stayed because the sex is good, because they cook good food, because you know they know me already. They're very familiar. And they know what I want and what I don't want. And, you know, in that way, they can actually hurt me more because they know me. I stay because I don't believe that someone else will love me and know me truly and really love me for me. I didn't, I didn't believe that. Past tense. I didn't. Not I don't. I didn't believe that because now I, I very much believe that. You know, I realized someone always comes. Someone will always come and love you as you are. And of course, with every relationship, there's a lesson there, right? And my relationships have been improving and that, that happened because I embraced change. I released, resist, I released resistance. So I just have to know when it is really the end of the relationship if I'm not happy anymore and be really open to new beginnings. And there's always new beginnings, always new adventures, always really great memories 
out there for you. So flow with the changes. That's the message from the universe. And I was resisting a lot with my life purpose. I know deep inside me what I'm here to do, what I should prioritize, what is it that I should work on. But again, I was not listening to my intuition. I was not flowing with spirit. And this reminds me of uh, a wonderful quote on flowing. So I also shared this beautiful quote from in the 2023 Visioning, You and Your Highest Vision workbook that I gave all of you from Colette Baron reed So I actually attended her Spirit Jam monthly masterclass Zoom um, event yesterday. She says, you have to allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. Very, very, very beautiful quote. So let us flow like a, a river, like a beautiful river into the sea of life. So it is now February. It's February really soon. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's the end of January. Can you believe that? <laughs> what happened? That was fast. And I was talking to Annie about this earlier. Again, Annie is my soulmate client and goddess sister and dearest friend. So in the end, in the end of January, we we're like reflecting, oh my gosh, what happened? Was that just a free trial version? <laughs> so at the beginning of February 2023 soon, and this is when the year 2023 really starts. <laughs> It is really high time to finally complete our life lessons, break the cycle in order to free ourselves from the pains and regrets and unforgiveness of the past. And so we can finally move forward. So let us take some time to honor our soul's journey, see where we have been, process our feelings, I've been doing that since, you know, December, January. So now it's really, really time to release the negative, keep the positive lessons, let go of what no longer serves you and open your heart and your soul and your spirit to allow yourself to receive what is really, truly for you. Your soul's deepest prayers, your soul mission and calling. And you will always be led to this. No matter how long the delay is, you will always be led to your soul's mission and calling. It is just you who keep, who keep on resisting. It is just you who keep on delaying. You're resisting, hence all the delays in your journey. And again, I don't want you to experience all the delay that I had to go through. I delayed and resisted with my life purpose for a decade. Imagine I learned Reiki way back in 2012. It took me eight years and a pandemic to really live my soul purpose. Like to the point that I really had no choice but to live my soul purpose because I cannot take it anymore. I'm done. Like, I'm like, I'm done. I'm done with hiding my truth. <laughs> I came to that point. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> you can start now with small steps, one step at a time, as long as every day you're aligning to your calling. And I know all of you are doing this. Just really more consistency and really more faith and commitment and belief in yourself. So as long as every day you're connecting with your inner being, um, reward yourself, celebrate that. And I lost so much time not listening to my intuition because of fear. Like, what if I don't have enough? What if I'm not going to earn back my investment? What if no one will believe in me? What if I'm not worthy to be seen or heard? What if my family will disown me? You know, and all of these are lies. These are all lies. They're not the truth. And I also talked about this in the uh, Manifesting Your Best Life webinar yesterday. In the esoteric spiritual world, this is not the truth. Maybe it is in the eyes of some human beings. But we have to remember that you are a divine being living in a physical world. You are here in this world to experience the fullness 
of your purpose, the fullness of your power to manifest your life mission and purpose. That is why you are here in this world. And according to Neville Goddard, the subconscious mind is not concerned with the truth or falsity of your feeling. It always accepts as true that which you feel to be true. So we have to really be mindful of our feelings, the vibration we give out, you know, and we have to realize because of this quality of the subconscious mind, there is nothing impossible to man. We just have to set our intentions and think and feel it and nothing is impossible <laughs> so let us release these limiting beliefs let us release fear and resistance to change and transformation let us keep on releasing scarcity mentality into overflow and abundance and unlimited possibilities what else is possible let us release and uncreate and destroy the shortage consciousness because you are unlimited. This fear and shortage consciousness or this misunderstanding of this universe, it's just a misunderstanding, it's not true. Misunderstanding of the universe, of the unlimited and ever-expanding potential, ever-expanding pool of resources in the universe, unlimited universe. And you got to remember, and I say remember because you already know this. When you were born, you already know this before you picked up, before we picked up negative programming and cultural conditioning from today's society. We all came here as co-creators. You came here knowing that and you have to remember that in order to be able to create and manifest the life of your dreams free of resistance and living the life of ease, grace, fun, joy, and glory and really allowing things to flow to you. And also, you did not come here to compete with other people in this physical world. You did not come here to compete for the resources of this planet. You're never in competition with others who share this universe. The truth is that we can all have it all. It's not just we can all have it. It's not just we can have it all. It is we can all have it all. And we have to really embrace that truth. And ultimately, love, so divine love is your guiding truth. What will love do in this situation? For example, you're in a critical situation you just ask what will love do and you just have to follow it and it is okay to make mistakes that is how we learn it is okay if you don't know exactly the how as long as you know where you're going where you're headed that's why we always start with our highest vision what is the highest vision of you the you three years from now who have everything you've ever wanted and, you know, the how, the inspired action steps you need to take will show themselves to you when you really listen. And the easiest way to release, release resistance is to always stay in high vibrations. So, of course, you do that with your daily um, mindfulness meditation, with vibrating with like-minded, high-spirited individuals. So when we elevate our frequency to the energy of joy, of love, of bliss, that frequency is very, very high, high frequency. And when you're there, you are a vibrational match to all, that, to all that you desire, to all that matches your high frequency. And also from that place, you will be shown the how. You will not get messages when you're not relaxed, when you're not calm, when you're stressed. You'll not get inspired action steps. You'll not get inspiration when you're like caught up in the stresses of everyday life. You will be shown the ideas, the insights, the guidance, the light bulb moments, the um, illuminations. You will be shown all of these messages when you are relaxed, when you're calm, when you're doing your mindfulness 
practice when you're doing your energy healing work. So either you will hear it or sense it during meditation or, um, or after a relaxing meditative walk or yoga practice or healing session. Um, you open your eyes and go back to your everyday life and then someone will tell you what to do as long as you're, you feel alignment in alignment with the message, of course. Or you will come across an article or a post or a book or a YouTube video or an angel message or oracle guidance that will inspire you or someone will call you or you'll just feel like you have to call someone or message someone and then a conversation will unfold and then you will be guided to your next divine action step. For sure. So magic occurs when we detach from the how and we flow and we listen to the guidance that we are shown to what spirit is telling us every day. And this may create fear and resistance to us as human beings. But remember that you are a spiritual being. Like, for example, um, I remember this workshop with Anna Kitney and then the resistance from her was um, like, who am I to contact this billionaire if he needs um, service from me? You know, she had that imposter syndrome. So this may create fear. The message that we receive may create fear and resistance to us because we do not fully understand. And we still have the leftover fear, you know? But we have to remember that you are always guided and protected and you're always safe and you're powerful beyond measure. If only we're told this every single day by our teachers, right? Like every single day in our growing up years, if only we're taught that we are powerful beyond measure, that anything is possible, we would have been in a far different like we would have been in like greater heights right now, like a whole new level. We have to remind ourselves this. And there's so many, many, many ways to release your limiting beliefs. So, you know, use your tools for mindset reprogramming, data healing, Reiki guidance, NLP, EFT tapping, access consciousness, journaling, positive reinforcements with courses, with workshops, and webinars like this. Uh, what else? Coming to me for one-on-one -on -one coaching um, or with your other healers and coaches, of course, positive affirmations and mantra, reciting your mantra every day, and really just receiving messages and energetic downloads, allowing yourself to fully receive and increasing your capacity to receive. And it takes investment, it takes money, it takes time, it takes energy, it takes commitment, it takes consistency. And I myself just want to stay in bed all day. But, but what do I expect to attract if I just stay in bed daydreaming all day? Of course, I daydream like um, 80% of the day. But I, of course, the 20% I have to show up. And yeah, I have to do the work. I have to do the inner work. And I have to, yeah, show up. Like today, I'm flowing with life as I work joyfully because I know that your presence is your gift to the world you don't have to be 100% perfect just you being there the, your warmth your presence your intention to serve that is the gift that you can offer the value that you can offer to your people and you my students my sisters you're also my greatest inspirations and teachers in life so yeah I guess that's it <laughs> um, let us release resistance to change um, because again everything you want is in your stretch zone let go of all the ideals and standards and you know conditions and circumstances and deadlines and just flow with it know that you're always supported 
Let go of all the opinions of others that are not yours. And learn to cultivate your core confidence that no matter what other people will say, I'm, I'm good, I'm safe, all is well. Cultivate your inner strength, your personal power, and really believe that you are exactly where you're supposed to be. I remember this in one of my conversations with um, Faye. So, you, you know, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You deserve also to, to experience life fully. And you also deserve to rest. You, you also deserve to act according to inspiration. And remember that you're not limited because you are, again, a spiritual being, always connected with the source. And let us let go of, you know, ego. Let us let go of um, control. And let's be really allowing and flowing with life and allow life to flow through us. Let us, you know, do the inner work and keep opening up to allowing and aligning with your soul, with your inner being. And be open. Be open to everyday miracles. Believe in everyday miracles. You know, set an intention. Believe in it. Really believe in it. Like maybe you can set an intention that and I did this, and this is working, I'm telling you how magical it is. Like you can set an intention every day, money will flow to me. Like just intend that. Then you can, you know, you can increase and increase your manifestation according to what you're comfortable with. So yeah, be open to miracles. Miracles are natural. So just keep on flowing with trust and faith and be open and available to all the different ways in which love will come in and how abundance shows up for you every day. Let us motivate ourselves to stop resisting and finally move forward with so much ease, grace, joy, glory, and fun. Thank you very much. Oh, yes. Money flows to me easily and effortlessly. Yes. Thank you for that pay. Money flows to me easily and effortlessly. I allow unlimited abundance to flow into my life. So, you know, let us keep on motivating ourselves and reprogramming our subconscious. So there, thank you. Oh, let me end with an Oracle card just for fun. Just for today. Let us end with fun. Oh, thank you, Erica. And hello there, Rox. Rox. Oh, Rox is here. Hello, hello, hello. In any moment, I can surrender. Ooh, surrender. So allowing surrender. Thank you. Thank you, Oracle Card. Surrender is actually how you release resistance. Surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation and stillness oh thank you very much Riri thank you Annie thank you Faye I love you thank you thank you Krutika my dear thank you Rock see you soon <laughs> Rox and I we have this uh these really really fun sessions together like I'm the healer but I feel like I'm the one who's being healed <laughs> laughter and, yeah enlightened enlightenment all the wisdom amazing amazing so um thank you Faye and thank you Erica thank you everyone so please remember in any moment I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer contemplation and stillness I, I allow stillness to heal and reveal and yeah, thank you for joining me. So if there are no questions, yes, Krutika Gabby Bernstein Oracle Cards. Yes, beautiful session. Thank you, Miss Alali. Thank you very much, my dear. So if there are no questions, I'll see you again next week. Um, I'll see the others within the week before Monday, of course, <laughs> like Krutika and Rox uh, and Annie.
And um, I love you all. And thank you for sharing beautiful energy with me today. Thank you for allowing me to live my life purpose. And I support you, you know, in um, attracting more abundance and love in your space. And I believe that you will create so much ripples of positive effects to the universe, you know, with your own um, loved ones, with your own people, and of course, with each other together here in this um, Empowered Women's Club. And I'm really, really happy that um, to whoever will be watching this, you know, in replay also, on replay, on recording, uh, I'm really, really happy and honored to serve you. Love and light. Sending you all the love. Namaste. Thank you. I love you, Faye. Thank you, everyone. And see you again soon. Thank you. <laughs>